how to put the data inside the system, inside the table right now i say how to get the data get me all the data star meaning get me all the fields all the records now i want to put the data how do i put the data for that again another dml command insert okay insert into trains insert meaning put the data into the table insert the data into the table called trains what are the values i have to pass there's a keyword called values within bracket there are 1 2 3 4 5 columns five fields so i need to supply five values first value train number 101 then the train name numeric characters give the numbers non numeric character uh, fields you put in single quotes or double quotes both are accepted single quotes i say howra express then from station um chennai to station howra right now i have given 1 2 3 4 columns okay now i hit enter now it says column count does not match value count at row 1 that means the column count i have got the columns in this table are 1 2 3 4 5 whereas i have supplied only four values so i need to it says you have to supply one more value now i am going to give one more value which is the number of coaches as 25 now i hit enter it says one row affected right query okay now let us do a select star okay if you do the select star get me all the columns all the rows now it says whatever data i have inserted that data is inside the table unless you insert data when you select that data will not come right right so to put the data into the table use insert to get the data from the table use select statement right now i want to insert one more data insert into trains values train number 154 then uh, rajdhani right from bangalore to delhi number of coaches as 16 i have supplied another five values 154 stands for train number rajdhani stands for train name this is for from station this is for to station this is for number of coaches if i give less or more it will give you a syntax error now i do a select statement it shows two rows because i have done two inserts it shows two rows so the very first use of store the data to put the data into the database use insert command retrieve to get the data out of the database use select statement is this clear can you please raise the hands good now today i didn't want to complicate uh, a lot of commands right today we will load from tomorrow the very first thing that you guys need to know is to have first install create a database create a simple table insert and select my suggestion always when you are learning something new don't go for complicated stuff right at the first shot start simple start with the easy ones understand that automatically the complicated things will follow okay today i would like to stop the webinar right here then i am open to questions i have got certain questions uh, someone has tried to install the the thing it is asking for a password you give whatever password you want to give when it is asking for the time of installation you give any password but you should remember the password when you are logging into mysql okay you can give any password no issue okay and someone has asked what is integer 11 when you simply say integer right it will create integer with 11 uh, as a length of it right so it can store that much of information into that it's a length of it uh one user has asked which version we should download you can uh, you can use uh any version whether it is 5 or 4 or 
whatever is available you can download not an issue at the time of logging in you can ask uh, you can give a password which is anything okay and if you are getting installation issues refer to the mysql manual from that site right right someone has asked uh, can we create a database from some another database prompt no you, you have to create database from mysql prompt only so you cannot in create a database from some other prompt i can connect to mysql in the same machine any number of times no issues but only thing is you need to create for mysql only from mysql prompt you cannot have from any other database prompt okay in create statement you should specify the data type also if you don't specify the data type it will show error okay someone is asking is there a gui based tool yeah as i said there is something called a toad t o a d toad is available for oracle as well as mysql again there is a free version evaluation version and the licensed version so you can download that from uh, is a toad free version also available if i'm if i'm right which is one of the very famous software with using a graphical user interface so you don't have to do select statements and all but still if you it is always better to know the commands someone is asking is mysql supported for vista yeah you can go to the website which version of mysql is supported in vista so you need to check that from the mysql website okay someone is asking can we connect mysql from a dot net application yes very much this is only a database system you can connect it from php you can connect it using python you can connect it through java you can connect through dot net from any windows application or web application you can connect to mysql okay many people have asked what is the difference between uh, mysql and oracle that's not the scope of this webinar we are trying to explain the mysql features okay as i said conceptually all rdbms are same only thing is whether they are able to handle very large data how fast they are right how good is their stored procedure concept apart from that conceptually everybody is same right i don't want to say this is better or that's better right so it's only conceptually everything is ditto again many people have asked the uh, column types in xml column types in varchar we will see those things okay we will see those things when we move into this webinar okay if people have already seen uh, oracle right um, or mysql right someone has asked whether mysql is same as microsoft sql or no they are different ms sql is different mysql is different oracle is different postgres sql is different progress is different right but the purpose of them is same store data retrieve data very simple again how many columns are allowed maximum in a table those information you can pretty much check in the help file okay uh, some of the restrictions what is the length of this field right and uh, for each data type there are some restrictions in the data width also right so those information you can get it from the help manual right again if you install mysql you could use uh, you could see this also help manual also mysql there is a mysql manual right if you click on this mysql manual this has a complete help it will show all the restrictions which window versions are supported you can get those information from that okay 
this webinar is focusing on uh, the DDL and DML statements we are going to we are not going to cover triggers and stored procedures which is like programming in MySQL okay good good amount of interaction that we have today I like to have very similar kind of interactions every day from the users so we used to have uh, the first 45 minutes from our side we could answer any questions in between also the last 15 minutes we would like to reserve for the question and answers uh, today thanks for the session tomorrow we will have more data manipulation language like delete update altering the table today we saw only two data types only character and integer we will see real numbers var char date fields etc tomorrow okay and again this webinar is also uh, recorded okay so pretty soon we will be uploading all these webinars in today itself uh, we have uploaded six new webinars last Wednesday we have uploaded roughly about 25 parts so you can go to the course demos part of open mentor portal use all those versions for free again uh, a few people have asked it will be charged at any point of time no no open mentor is meant for the whole world can learn for free and that will remain forever right thanks a lot uh, we will connect tomorrow we'll proceed further